Ian feels a long time since crew. I imagine you and the lads are champing at the bit to get back into action and in a big game. We are. Um, feels a long time ago. Uh, the lads have had some recovery time and some rest, and we've come back in uh, Monday, raring to go. And this week, the training's been exceptional, ready for a big game on Saturday. And the international lads have come back in one piece and, and had some good experiences in the last week or so. And that's always a positive and. A good thing for all of those is that they've all been involved in the res respective teams. Um, Baca played for Sierra, Sierra Leone and scored. Um, Dion's played a part for Northern Ireland in both games. Jon started both games for Spain. Traff played against Germany. So, yeah, positive. Gethin is back in amongst us, which is great for him on a personal level, but equally on a football level as well to have him in the squad again. Yeah, I mean, we've, we've missed him. He's a huge part of what we're doing. Fantastic person and character, a big part of the dressing room and a wonderful player that's got a very good record when he starts games for us so yeah we're grateful to have him back one bit of bad news sadly Lloyd Isgrove has suffered a recurrence of his hamstring injury so that'll be him done for the season won't it yeah I mean post-op um, the surgeon said there's less than a 5% chance of re-injury um, re and that's unfortunately happened so he needs all the love and support that we can give him and he'll get that and obviously the fans out there can play the part with that as well. He, you know, He's going to go through a challenging time mentally, um, but we're all here for him and I have no doubt he'll come out the other side. Gethin missed the last Wigan game, he just suffered his own injury and Declan was unavailable that day. A lot of players missing that, uh, that afternoon, which was a tough one for the club. A totally different uh, looking Bolton side for the return at Wigan. Yeah, I mean, we let ourselves down first and foremost and, and, and let the fans down. Um, on that day we were humiliated. Um, it wasn't really a 4-0 game, but to get beat heavily to your rivals and on your own patch isn't never a good thing. Um, and it hurts all, the fans included, and we want to put that right on Saturday and, and set the record straight. And it's a real good marker as to how far we have evolved and come as a team. Uh, obviously, they're in the automatic promotion spots at the moment. That's where we want to get to. Um, so yeah, it'll be a good benchmark to see how far we've come. Probably going up a notch, if I can not be disrespectful to Crew and Gillingham, but you've won your last two away games, so your away form is in good order. If you could get another one on uh, Saturday, it keeps things alive ahead of a, a big week. Yeah, I mean, this is um, this is going to be a really tough game, intimidating atmosphere, intense. Um, they have a way of playing that's very effective. Um, they ask you a lot of questions defensively, and we have to stand up to that and then be ourselves, be the best version of ourselves. Be calm and composed under pressure, show good courage and personality, take the ball in tight areas, that's what we do as a team. And if we can do that, then I know we can hurt them, but it's it's a big, big challenge, and but one we're looking forward to. At the start of a big week, big games, Wigan, Portsmouth, Sheffield Wednesday, cracking games, and uh, things could look a different uh, picture in a week or so. And they're the types of games that we want to be involved in, you know, we want to to have these games to, to have a go at, and we're still in with the shout. It's you know a very small shout, but we've still got one, and we have to try and win all seven games, and that starts on on Saturday. Landmark game for yourself. You're 100th in charge of the club. Does that feel it's happened very quickly? I know there's been a lot happening, but you must be proud and pleased with what's happened in that uh, in that century. I mean, I think we've um, we've come a long way in two years. I think sometimes you lose sight of what you've achieved and, and some perspective, but. We've had a promotion and hopefully a top 10 finish this season and had lots of ups, um, some downs as well that we need to, to put right. Um, but yeah, this is a wonderful job and I'm very fortunate to be manager of this football club. The fans have have really taken to me on the whole and, and yeah, they're liking what the team's producing on the pitch and, and long may that continue. The sign of progress has been the season tickets. We reached the end of March with the end of the initial offer, 12,000 sold already. That's a great sign for the for the future. Yeah, we've we've got to carry on with that momentum. Um, that momentum's come off the back of what Sharon and the board have done with with making this club stable again and and getting us into the position we are now. But obviously the football as well has has helped because people are enjoying what they're seeing. They want to come and watch us play. This is an exciting attacking team. So yeah, we're really happy with, with them showing how much they're supporting us and backing us. And hopefully we we can repay that faith on, on Saturday with three points.